four pillars I just wanted to highlight. The integrated student supports, expanded learning time and opportunities, family and community engagement, and then collaborative leadership and practice. In the center of all of this, it's about our students and making sure they are not just doing okay, but thriving. The guiding statement that's written in our grant um, goal. And so we're really going to plan, implement, and monitor a systematic approach for increasing student, family, and community engagement that incorporates a multifaceted approach for motivating at-risk students in the areas of attendance, academic performance, and emotional and mental wellness. High school. And so some of these things we're already doing, but this will really help us expand. And so if you think about our day of giving, and, and many of you know a lot about that from last year, um, but it's a day. And so it's great, it's a great event, and I love it. It gets our students out into the, uh, the community, allows them to give back to the community. This grant is gonna allow us to provide more opportunities like that for, um, you know, maybe not the entire school all the time, but, but certainly different opportunities for students to go out and volunteer for our community. Um, community speakers, we've, you know, hopefully we've, we've gotten a few more community speakers. Um, a career fair, we've had a career fair at Amherst County High School for as long as I can remember, uh, and it typically centers around our, our CTE uh, program. Show up initiative, we've, we, as you know, we've had show up days uh, over the course of the last year, uh, very successful. Um, you know, there's a lot of things we like to give away. We like to give away prizes. We like to give away incentives, things of that nature, and this grant will help us do that as well. Uh, Ms. Mullenkamp also talked about field trips. Kids want to go on field trips. You know who else wants to go on field trips? They're teachers. And so this would be a great way for, for us to afford to be able to do those things for our students, to give them those opportunities. Uh, and then internships. We're looking, we have a program where we've, we've developed some partnerships with some community organizations where we have students that go out and, and uh, they're provided with internships. We want to expand that. So how can this help our students? We talk about three big things for our students always. Number one is attendance, behavior, and academics. We want all three of those areas to improve every single year. Um, you know, we don't have 100% attendance. We don't have a 100% behavior rate, um, whatever that would look like. And then, you know, certainly we don't have everybody giving all A's. So I think Ms. Thompson said it earlier, but we can always improve. We always have areas of growth. And so I truly think that through this grant and partnering with our community organizations, but, but also partnering with families, I think we can get more buy-in from our community and buy-in from our families to help our students achieve those three things.